Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the mother of your Son to be our mother and our Queen, graciously grant that, sustained by her intercession, we may attain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised to your children. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians. In God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father 
and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought to thank God always for you, brothers and sisters, as is fitting, because your faith flourishes evermore, and the love of every one of you for one another grows ever greater. Accordingly, we ourselves boast of you in the churches of God, regarding your endurance and faith in all your persecutions and the afflictions you endure. This is evidence of the just judgment of God, so that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. We always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith. That the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him, in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert, and when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna, twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, If one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools! Which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you say, if one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift on the altar, one is obligated. You blind ones, which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar swears by it, and all that is upon it. One who swears by the temple swears by it, and by him who dwells in it. 
one who swears by heaven, swears by the throne of God, and by him who is seated on it. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Today we are celebrating one of the glorious mysteries in the Holy Rosary. Ito yung pinakapanghuling glorious mystery, the queenship or the coronation of our Heavenly Mother. This feast was instituted by the same Pope no? who proclaimed the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Pius XII, in a response to an overwhelming devotion to Our Lady. It also falls within the eighth day, no? Kasi a week ago lang, August 15, ngayon ay August 22, no? After the solemnity of the Assumption. Pagkatapos umakit ni Maria sa langit, after one week, pinapangaralan natin siya bilang Reina no? ng langit. No? This particular attribute of Mary is a share of the kingship of Jesus Mary being the mother of Jesus, who is the king of all. She participates in the royal domain of his son. Ganito po ka-espesyal ang role ng ating mahal na ina no? para sa naging glory o naging achievement no? ng kanyang anak. No? Pero pinapaalala palagi sa atin na sana ilagay natin sa tamang pangunawa ang ginagawa nating pagpaparangal kay Maria. No? Yes, we attribute to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Queen of Heaven. But we don't give, ha? We don't give the same reverence and praise to Jesus when we adore Him as He is the King, no? the God who became flesh. and now reigns with the Father. Whatever privilege and title we give to Mary, this is only insofar as in her special role as the mother of God. Lahat ng mga pagpaparangal natin sa ating mahal na ina ay kaugnay parate sa kanyang pagiging ina ng Diyos. Sana malinaw sa atin yon. Kaya nga, pinapaalalahanan tayo na huwag ilagay si Maria sa estado na kapantay ni Jesus. Mary is not a goddess. Mary is not a goddess. She is in fact like us, kagaya nating mga tao. She is given to us to serve as a model and inspiration in living our faith. How we too are invited to participate, coordinate, makigulo din sa plano ng Diyos. sa kanyang pagliligtas sa sangkatauhan. What she has become through the grace of God, the Church and all of us are also destined to have, to be in the future, be glorified also with Jesus, to share in the glory of the one who was resurrected. Kaya nga, it is good to reflect on, their, on our first reading from the second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians, we always ought to thank God. No? Always as it is fitting because our faith no, in Jesus flourishes evermore and the love of every one of us grows even greater. When we love Jesus, we will also love her mother. Our God may make us worthy of his calling no? and powerfully brings to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in the queenship of her mother. In accordance with the grace of our God and our Lord Jesus Christ. And so as we continue with our Mass this morning, we continue to pray for the guidance and maternal protection of our Mama Mary. May the Queen of Heaven and Earth continue to intercede for us As we continue to follow the footsteps of Jesus, her Son, the source of all grace, and the King of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God our Father who accomplished great things in Mary and brought her to the glorious throne in heaven. We make known to him our needs through the aid of Mary. In every petition we all say, through the aid of our mother Mary, listen to our prayers, Lord. Through the aid of our mother Mary, listen to our prayers, Lord that like Mary, the Church may bear witness to the saving love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the aid of our Mother Mary, listen, listen to our, our prayers, prayers, Lord. That governments may listen to the voice of God in the Church, calling for an end to economic inequalities that now exist between peoples and nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the aid of our Mother Mary, listen, listen to, our to our prayers, Lord. Lord. That like Mary, we may be constant in prayer and in seeking to fulfill God's plan for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the aid of our Mother Mary, listen to our prayers, Lord. That the poor and the sick may receive from God's people the support and help they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the aid of, of our Mother Mary, Mary listen to our prayers, Lord. Lord. That those who have died with Christ may be raised with Him to a full new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the aid of our Mother Mary, Mary listen to our prayers, prayers, Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Father of glory and power, through the intercession of our Queen, the Blessed Virgin Mary, grant the petitions we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we observe this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, praying to be given strength by the humanity of Christ, who offered himself to you on the cross as the unblemished oblation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the memorial of her queenship. For the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, 
dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ has said to your apostles Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Grant, Grant us, us peace. peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received this heavenly sacrament, we humbly pray, O Lord, that we who reverently celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary may merit to be partakers at your eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.